So guys, I am back with another Power World video and after all the requests I had, all the love you guys showed me on my previous video showcasing my base, I've decided to bring you not only another guided tour, another more or less in-depth guide on how you can actually get this done if it's something you're interested in. I know a lot of people love the look of this, love the fact it's so big and they're curious to see how it was done. Uh, they've got questions, they need answers. So today I hopefully can answer those questions you may be having if you guys want a base like this but before we go any further guys i'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice to be in with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on and winners will be picked from my comment section and announced in a few days so let's go so it's just getting dark people so you can see it looks wicked at night as well with the lamps uh, the lamp posts and lighting and all that but how this worked is, and hopefully it ain't too dark for you guys to see, and how I actually built this was. So this area where I'm at right here, guys, is a nice, probably the flattest piece of land, the biggest flat piece of land in this game. And it's, my coordinates are right here, so you can see I'm a minus 257 to a 39. This big piece of land here is just by the Do Mod World boss, just off his left shoulder, if you can't hear me looking at you, his left shoulder, you know what I mean? Okay, so if we zoom out, we can see you start right here. I just want to come up this way. You can see where I'm at right here, guys. This is where you want to be. Now, what I actually originally was going to do was I was going to build up there. But I saw this, this flat piece of land down here. It had loads of trees and loads of rocks. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to flatten it all out and build there. So that's what I did. So I took up all the rocks, moved all the trees. And then what I did was I tried to find the center of the land. So if we come down, I tried to did like, it's a massive piece of land. It's quite wide, but I tried to get as center as possible. It was a guess, obviously. But then what I did was I turned and faced this direction and put down the power box. Then what I did was I built stone foundations in a straight line all the way along. So if you come across here, all the way along, past this building to about there, maybe even further. Then what I did was I turned back around, stood on them foundations, pulled out another power box, and then I stepped and walked and followed that them foundations all the way back up here until it told me I couldn't put that power box down because I was too close to another base. So I stepped back on myself, making sure I was in line with the foundations. As soon as I could pull it down, I pull it down. And then from there, guys, I just interconnected all of the pathways you can see there's no gaps in between any of these foundations they're all interconnect perfect and it's what i wanted it's a massive open space with loads loads of opportunity here so that's what we've done now in regards to how close these bases can get together it's about three foundations apart three or four maybe but i just built a building in between them this is my pub which i'll show you in a second but this building in between is basically the gap that's how close you can get two bases together and then what I did was, once I had these bases down, I built metal walls all the way around, just like so. The metal walls go all the way around. I tried to build them on the edge of the perimeter as well, as you can see. So, cause you know, after a few days, these will start to deteriorate, uh, but it's fine because I'm on my own private server and I've set it to zero anyway, so they don't do it. But if you wanted to do this in a, a public server, an official server, you would have to keep inside of your perimeter and everything on the outside will eventually deteriorate over time but because they're all inside of your walls they're all inside of your base anyway so that doesn't matter okay so let's go back down this way and i'll give you guys a guided tour on what i've done so this was where i actually started let me just get off my jet wagon no not close the door get off him you'll end up in the viewing cage if you carry on like that mate okay so obviously my old base i'm hungry i need to eat my old base was pretty cl cluttered you'll see it on the screen now it was cluttered as heck uh the problem was there just wasn't enough space there i ended up building upwards instead of outwards because i just couldn't and it was just getting to a point where it's just looking tacky all the powers just getting stuck together it was doing my absolute head in so i decided you know what i'm gonna find another spot and build two bases together i'm gonna try something i hadn't seen anyone else do so that's what i did so obviously Putting this power box down here, I was transferring in between one, my old base to this base. So I needed storage. So that's what all these are, guys. It's just spare storage. It needs to be organized a bit better, to be honest. But hey, we do what we got to do. 
So yeah. And then guys, what I did was from here, I worked backwards because I knew in front, leading up to my other base, I wanted it to be the two main areas. So all the other like clutter, like the work stuff and that I wanted behind. And that's what I did. So we come back here, guys. We can see go, ha go hard or go viewing cage. That is the motto of the week. As long as my pals can, can read, I'm, I'm well aware, we're good. So here, guys, we have probably the biggest empty space in my base. And the reason for this being is we have here the crusher powered by watering, same as the mill powered by watering. And we've got my cookers and my smelters, my forges. The best power in the game is German Tide for watering. The best power for cooking is German Tide Ignis. They're too big. These powers are too big. They get caught on absolutely everything. They still get caught on things here. But this space here is primarily for them. So they can do what they got to do without getting stuck on the most stupid little things. So that's why this space is here. When they fix that, I'm probably going to fill this in because I want it all looking industrial type. Like there's just no space. There's work everywhere being going down. And that's what we like. So yeah. Okay, so we've got a little chilling area in the corner there. Gets used quite often actually. So where my electricity is generated. And here we have the mining sites and we have the lumbering sites. Now these, the way I've put these down, the perfect, uh, the perfect, perfectly close to each other for one. But the way I've got them separated apart and I've got them just enough space to put a storage box is perfect because the powers put the stuff straight in them. And it's crazy to think that they don't put wood in this one and don't put stone in that one. They literally take the wood straight to it because they're so close to each other. This is something you definitely should be doing. If you put this back here, I can absolutely guarantee you that, that that wood would end up in that box. I can guarantee you that. You need to pull it right there in between the two uh, sites and it's perfectly fine. Now the best powers to do the transporting, Anubis is 100%. Anubis is just so good. It's so fast. But also you want the hang use. Hang use are amazing. So here we have my buffs to the base that's handiwork this one is uh, mining that's lumbering that is kindling that's planting or farming or cropping and the watering one is the foundation over there look at that view by the way people that's another thing that sold me on this spot i remember building these down thinking wow look at that tree look at that tree and look at the mountains also look at my uh my castle furniture my castle decor <laughs> Uh, which are my viewing cages with my acid guns in them look amazing for my father as well but uh, here we have my workstations we have the assembly lines the severe the uh standard materials like cement i need to make some more cement to be honest wouldn't out of that and my weapons along this way guys we have a sign and we have another chilling area this is the crop plots we have, or well, I call it my allotment, but hey, the berries and wheat are on this side. And on that side, we have the lettuce and tomatoes. You see all the flowers as well. You know, it's crazy to think this base without these flowers, it looks so bare, it looks bare bones. It's also why I added bins and to my three houses on that side and my three houses on that side, obviously just for luck, just to make the base look more homely. But adding the bins, just make it look more genuine. Now, this is the only thing I'm, I'm not sure about here. In my entire base is the only thing I'm not sure about. It's my pal hotel, where my pal sleep on this side. I don't know what you're doing there, lad. I just don't know. It's just too big. It's just too big. I may make it smaller somehow. But if I do that, it's going to take more land up on the floor, which I'm not sure about. So we'll see. I'm, not, I'm still in two minds about that. My fridge, full of that good stuff. Uh, I'll take you on a guided tour of the house in a quick second. Uh, but this is the pub. Open till 11pm. So not long closed. And there we can see it guys. I'll probably need to add a few more furnishings in here. But hey. Now on my right hand side we have the three houses. These are fully decked by the way. They're decked out. And same on the left hand side. Which I'll take you in one because I'm going to take you in them all. So we'll be here all day, people. It's not what we want to see. So you can see they're all decored out. Looking good. Close that. Oh, no. Lock myself in. Okay, so let's go back into the pub. And you'll see when you step out, it looks beautiful at night time. It's not like it's coming to morning now, but the lighting and that looks amazing. As you can see now, this is the, the breeding area. And it's a very important message on this sign. Safety first. 
wear protection. That is the best advice you're ever going to get. So yeah, this is where I do my brooding. Now I can, obviously, I've got plenty of space for wanting to build more brooding pens, but I don't think I need to. Two is more than enough for me. My box is for my eggs, box for the cakes, and then we have my incubators, which are full already. So yeah. Okay, so on the left-hand side here, we have my ranches and another chilling area. I mean, the ranch is like two is more than enough, guys, because they just are. It just is. Got another fridge there, which is where my powers take my stuff straight to. If you wonder where my powers are, I've put them all away because they just get so they're just so inclined to work. They just get them away. So yeah, for if I'm gonna do a base tour or a base guide, put them away for now. This is my other storage uh, area with my power box right there. Obviously, this is only used to transfer stuff in between the two bases. This is why I only need two here because obviously all the main stuff goes on down in that one base down there. But if I do need stuff down here, I transfer it straight into this box. But things like food, things like my um, blueprints and things like my weapons are all fine in that other one down there. Okay, so on the right hand side, if you're coming from this angle, we have my viewing cages, my spares and repairs. I've got so many powers I need to put in here. I could do 10 more of these to be honest. Somehow they all get out as well. Don't know what they're doing there, but just leave them to it. But yeah. Spares and repairs, people. Look at this get all caught together. It's a mess that does need fixing, to be honest. Okay, so now we have my castle. Which I will say. Have a look at it from back here. I'm quite proud of, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit big for just my house though, to be honest, it's taking up a lot of space, but hey. You gotta have that main attraction, haven't you? So that's what it is. My two Astagons in their viewing cages look amazing from afar, like I said. So let's go I'll give you a quick guided tour. The downstairs area is obviously the base uh, for my pals. So yeah, I thought about adding more deco in here, but I just thought I like the old school stony looks. I thought, yeah, leave it as it is. Add a few chandeliers, a few mirrors on the wall. Well, that's it. Left side, we have my quarters, which I need to improve, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. My bedding area is just standard bad side table where i sleep but i barely use it anyway up here a little better we have my own private bathroom as you can see my own private bathroom is very own tree as well nice my toilet there my bath there a drying towel there so yeah out here guys we have my chilling area my very own living room where i watch that power tv and chill there you go Back out here and around here, guys, we have the power condensation machine, which is just too damn big and ugly, so I had to hide out of the way. So yeah, it's sitting there. And back through here, guys, we have a big empty space, which I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Let's go back down here, back into the main room, and the secret door at the back here, guys, leads to the back of the base, which you can go out that way if you want to. So yeah. And that's more or less it guys uh, a few more tips and tricks i mean obviously not going to build an exact base like this you're going to do it yourself for your own but just make sure like i said the foundations all link up together that's probably most important if you want it all to be symmetrical and all nice and neat like this um another thing i would say as well is what the mistake i made i'd make these metal foundations i mean not foundations so the walls or if you use stone walls don't use wood because fire takes them down but yeah, I'd build them on the line here. So obviously you see my power box is there. Follow the straightness to it. And you see the straight edge there? That's where you want to build. You want to build along that straight edge. And therefore then it will be straight all the way across. Mine's pretty straight, but it's close to this side at the perimeter of this second base. So yeah, it ain't absolutely perfect. So you can work on that. And don't forget, everything outside of the base's perimeter will over time deteriorate if you're on official servers. So keep that in mind. But if you do lock it all in, there isn't that much that you will have to repair or replace, considering both bases are now right next to each other. So yeah, keep that in mind too. But other than that, guys, I mean, there's not much else I can give you uh, tips and tricks on besides just keep it nice and neat. Obviously, plan your space ahead. That's what I did. Uh, I wouldn't worry about space. If you're building two bases together, 
you got more than enough space for everything you'll ever need. If you want a massive breeding pen, I mean, look at if you look up from up this angle here, you can see the wasted space I've made with the actual like pathways where the lamp posts are, which leads one base to the other. Especially this area here, guys. I mean, now you can see the space I've got around that power box right there. If I wanted to, I could put in a few more breeding pens, uh, a few more ranches. If I really, but I don't really need that to be honest. Two is more than enough for me. So yeah, just keep it uh, within the the theme you want. I mean, I wouldn't. I think metal looks piss poor. If you look at the the surrounding walls, I just don't think it's got no no style to it. There's nothing to it. I think the the, the stone from afar, especially, just looks so much more unique. And yeah, but that is it, guys. That's probably the best I can do without breaking the entire base down. And rebuilding it which i just ain't i just ain't gonna do that guys but there we have it two bases back to back i wanted to try something i hadn't seen anyone else do and that's how i've achieved it but there we have it guys my base in power world i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one